Today we're working on a plot where we're looking at no-till, strip-till, and cover crops, and strip-till within the cover crops. We found out in a number of our plot trials over the past few years, if we were to strip through our cover crops in the fall, removing some of that cover where the row is going to go next year, especially in corn, uh, we can take away some of that drag that we run into with the cover crops. Now today's mix is oats, radish, triticale, um, but at the same time, it tends to put a little bit of drag on our corn next year. So what we're trying to do is look at it all different ways, but one way is to drill it and then just strip through it after it's established. Another way is what we're doing right here is we're coming in here and we're shutting off meters on this drill every 30 inches. So as we drill this, we end up with a bile strip, I guess you would say about 15 inches wide. That'll give us a landing spot for next year's crop. So after this cover crop comes up, Again, a solid seeded mat. We've got triticale, oats, and radish in here. We can plant right into that next spring. Um, we do deal with the carbon penalty, the antagonism of the grass crops against each other in here, and maybe cooler, wetter conditions depending on the situation. Um, but that's still a process that works. But leaving a strip or stripping through it, or like we're doing here, shutting the uh, one of the rows off in the drill, we're leaving a a, a strip down through here of dry soil. This gives us a place to plant into. We could freshen it if we want. This decreases, doesn't eliminate, but decreases some of the allopathic toxins and the carbon penalty issues that we deal with in cover crops by leaving this strip open. 